Hope you're having a great day wherever you are, and we have some uh, more of Exodus chapter 5 to cover today. We're still dealing with bricks. Quite a bit of Exodus chapter 5 is a lot about the number of bricks, but this is all very important because we're building Israel to the place of being ready to abandon Egypt and leave totally, and then we're also showing the hardness of Pharaoh's heart and the cruelty of Egypt that God will then judge them for. So all of this is building. God is kind of building it towards this, you know, um, um, crescendo is a good word to use there, uh, that will finally result in them leaving and the Red Sea and Mount Sinai and all those things. So verse 15 picks up like this. It says, So the Israelite foreman went to Pharaoh and pleaded with him, Please don't treat your servants like this, they begged. We are given no straw, but the slave drivers still demand make bricks. We are being beaten, but it isn't our fault. Your own people are to blame. But Pharaoh shouted, You are just lazy, lazy. That's why you're saying, Let us go and offer sacrifice to the Lord. Now get back to work. No straw will be given to you, but you must still produce the full quota of bricks. The Israelite foreman could see that they were in serious trouble when they were told, You must not reduce the number of bricks you make each day. So in their trouble, Israel didn't turn to God. They turned to Pharaoh. They didn't go to Moses. They didn't do any of those things. They stayed right in the heart of the problem. At this point, you might could even say that they saw, they saw Pharaoh as being more powerful than God. So they were in their trouble and decided to turn to the one person that had been harming them for all this time this slavery that they had been in. So it's, it's a terrible situation. And it shows the lack of trust that they had in God, the lack of trust they had in Moses. And that's going to be exemplified even as we go a little bit further down. And Pharaoh has no grace, no mercy, no sympathy. He hates Israel. He hates these people. He wants to keep them in bondage, keep their numbers under control, and use them up. That's exactly what he wants to do. So they're turning to the one person that's going to have the least incentive to do anything to help them. We kind of do the same thing. We turn to the world for satisfaction. We turn to the world for help. We turn to the world for wisdom and knowledge. No. The world will bring nothing but misery upon us, whereas God is sitting there saying, what about me? And this is for, for people that are Christians all the time. We look everywhere else for direction, wisdom, comfort, and help except God, and we turn to God last, turn to God first. The, the Israelites should have pleaded with God. They should have turned to Moses, and they didn't. And it's not going to turn out well for them. Talk to you later.